Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an exam Q&A, more specifically a trial Q&A because I know that trials is coming up for you guys. So I wanted to like do a Q&A. So as usual, I put up a post on my Instagram story and I asked you guys to ask questions and I actually got a lot of responses, guys. It, I don't know if I can go through everything, but like I'll just try. So anyways, I want to apologize if this lighting isn't great. Um, it's nighttime now and I'm using like my bedroom light to film, so it might not be great, but we'll work with that. And yeah, I guess I'll just start now. The first thing that someone sent me wasn't actually a question, but it says, I'm afraid of ant maths and three crying emojis. So, okay, being afraid of ant maths is normal. Like, I myself was very afraid of ant maths before I entered from four itself because I heard rumors from seniors that it is going to be very, very difficult and that it's completely different from modern maths, which is actually true. But the thing is, when you don't know something, you will often fear it. But when you know how to do it, you won't be as afraid anymore. Like, when I didn't understand logarithm, I think in Form 4, I couldn't, in the beginning portion of Form 4, I couldn't figure logarithm out. And I was just so scared. Whenever I see a log question, I would, like, freak out. Because, as I said, when you don't know about something, you tend to fear it. But when I really took the time to understand every single thing, I'm not afraid of log anymore. In fact, log is one of my favorite type of questions. So, yeah. I guess my advice to this is to simply try to conquer your fear and actually counteract against it. That means do something to solve your fear towards admins. You are afraid of it because you don't understand it. So try to get help, try to watch YouTube videos, do whatever. And... The thing is, the more time you spend with maths and with numbers, the more familiar you get with it. So you really need to take some time out of your day, every single day, to do a little bit of ad maths. Really, ad maths requires so much consistency. The next question that we have here is, how do you normally motivate yourself to study? Well, fear is a pretty good motivation. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, the fear of failure is actually a motivation. Like a little bit is actually a healthy form of motivation. Just make sure that it doesn't get too much or, you know, it will be mentally very exhausting for you. But how I normally motivate myself to study for like a particular study session is I would use to-do list and Pomodoro sessions and how I stay motivated is to give myself a mini reward and that could be a movie or something or a meal um, for those of you who love food like me a meal could be a reward like if you're craving for sushi and you know you could do it maybe one weekend you can go and have sushi after you have worked hard throughout the weekdays something like that and next question is how to cope with you're so stressed until cannot focus on studying. So um, sometimes it happens like you're so stressed, especially for me when the exam is really, really near. I get so stressed that I just cannot study sometimes. So I would sit at my desk and try to study, but I just won't feel like it. And my hand will suddenly feel heavy and I don't feel like writing anymore. Because if I don't write, then I don't study. I can't read without writing. Um, that's my style. But sometimes it really happens. I'm not being dramatic. Sometimes I just feel like I really can't write anymore. And it actually happened last two weeks. So I just finished my exam, one of my exams today. And the week before the exam was actually my study week. So I had the whole week at home studying. And at one point, I was so stressed out that I couldn't study anymore. So what I did was I rearranged everything. I mean, I kept all my things away and I just got up and watched movies. So I watched um, Studio Ghibli's Whisper of the Heart. That anime is really, really good, guys. Studio Ghibli's are always very relaxing, their movies. So I watched Whisper of the Heart that night. It was just a two-hour movie, so from 8 till 10, I took a break. 
and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get up tomorrow and be productive, but for now, I need to watch this movie. So I went ahead and watched the movie, and it was very relaxing. And the next day, I felt so much better, and I feel like, yeah, I can do this. So I feel like when we are in the exam season, it is so easy to lose focus on what really matters in life. Like sometimes I wake up and just think like, oh my god, all that is to life is studying. Like what am I doing? Is there nothing else? So when things like that happen, it's really important to take a step back. Like you're too immersed in your studying and you're supposed to take a step back and do something that you love because that is so important. So if you have been wanting to watch a movie for some time, then just watch a movie for that night. And if you want to go out with your friends, just go out. If you want to eat something that you like, just do it. And it is so important to do it because taking a rest is part of the journey. Like sometimes it's so hard to listen to this and to believe it. But it is true, taking a rest is part of your journey. So if you don't rest, you can't go any further. Like if that night, I didn't keep all my stuff away and I didn't watch that movie to really like calm myself down and remind myself that there's more to life than studying, then I think that I would repeat the same thing the following day where I just didn't feel like studying at all. But then that night, I watched the movie and the following day, I actually woke up all ready to study. Because, I don't know, somehow watching that has made me relax and I was ready to study again. So it's really important to take breaks. And next question is, if exams are coming close, should I still do my homework or purely focus on exam preparation? So this is a dilemma that I used to have as well. Homework, that's a lot of homework. And then we have to study by myself. So I used to really hate it when teachers gave homework, actually, because as I said, I have to sort of finish a chapter of something per day. So if the teacher gives me homework for that day, I, I just feel like it's disrupting my schedule. You know, it's like coming into my schedule when I already know what I want to do on that day. But because of homework, I can't do it. So I totally understand how you feel but my way is just to finish up the homework as fast as I can so like I said I would finish up my homework in between classes like when one teacher leaves the class and before the other teacher enters I would be doing my homework and if I arrive early somewhere uh, maybe to the tuition center I would maybe do my homework as well I just try to finish up the homework as soon as possible because it is not something you can ignore, especially at school. You don't want to get demerit for not doing your homework. But if it's tuition homework and, you know, if your tuition teacher doesn't check your homework, then you can maybe just ignore tuition homework. But for school, I think you have to do your school homework. And it also really depends on whether you think the homework is useful or not. If the homework is really something that will help you in your studies, then you can consider that as part of your revision. So do your homework. I guess it really depends on the situation. You have to evaluate whether your homework is important and whether it is contributing to your understanding of the subject or not. Next question that I got is how to balance each subject. So I actually made a video on this already because so many of you guys asked me before and I made it. It's on my channel. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description box below to that video where I, I exactly explain how I balance the nine subjects that I do. And someone asked me, do you take Form 6 after SPM? No, I didn't take Form 6. I actually did Foundation in Science leading to Medicine. So yeah, I'm doing Medicine now. It's year 1. Very stressful if you're wondering. And thank you once again for participating in the exam Q&A and my Instagram is at Victoria Actual for those of you who wish to participate in my future Q&As and I hope that I did manage to answer your question and to provide answers which are actually useful. Anyways, please remember to give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!